All right, check it out, you guys. We have a Chevy Express. Okay, it's a van. The customer said his key's not working. Okay. I guess they were using this metal key. This one worked better than the original one. So they were using this one to switch it on. Okay, and they were putting this one right next to it so it can start. All right, so to access the sidebar, we need to remove the face cap first. So remove that slowly, pry it around evenly. Okay, so basically all I did right here was I got my pick. I put it right on the on the little bar, okay? The little bar that that uh, retracts and attracts sidebar. And then I put the original key in there. Okay, at the same time, the same time as you're doing that, go ahead and um, apply a little bit of pressure on the sidebar. Okay, like that. You see it goes inside. And then as soon as it turns a little bit, just take it out. And there it is. We're able to remove our um, ignition lock cylinder. Go ahead and put it in drive so that you're able to put it, crank it all the way where you can just pick that thing and remove it. Okay. And that's a little hole that we that we use, okay? All right, so as you guys are, are, are twisting this all the way to where it's cranking, okay, make sure you have it in drive once again. It's gonna start. You're pushing down right here on the little lock. Okay, same time you're pulling this out. And this automatically comes out already, okay? <clears throat> and then if we look at it, that's our sidebar, okay? That keeps the ignition from uh, turning. So once that goes down, when you put the key in, it should turn. But for some reason, I believe the wafers are already <clears throat> wasted on this thing. So we're gonna go ahead and replace the wafers some new wafers on here, okay. There's a sidebar, it's a little bit more cleaner. So let's go ahead and replace these wafers in here. All right, you guys, so first thing is first, I'm gonna go ahead and clean my lock. This straw right here that shoots vertical, I got an American Key Supply. You can go ahead and clean your door locks, ignitions, and the straw won't get stuck in there because it's made out of metal and like i said it shoots the lubricator vertical up into the wafers and the pins all right guys so this is a cleaner lubricator it's has multi-purposes i have always uh said good things about it it's houdini okay so you guys can see it works wonders look at all the dirt that it took off look how clean it looks right after all right so if we look at the sidebar it's not really retracting it's kind of sticking up a little bit and that's what's preventing the ignition lock cylinder from turning so if we look from left to right we have wafers two three four five six and seven and eight okay you guys can see the position they're in by the little check mark on the top left corner and we're always going to look from it from left to right starting from where the keyhole's at okay left to right to the tip of the key so the first uh way from position number two is gonna be a number two. I'm gonna go ahead and set out the the cuts, okay, the bidding, and that's the bidding for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm, I, what I do to replace the, the wafers and the pins, I remove one by one, and I have my, my lock rekey kin pit, okay, that I have numbered one, two, three, four, five. So I'll just remove one, I'll read it, okay, it'll tell you the number on the wafer, if it says two, just go ahead and replace it with a two and do that one by one. But I usually like to remove all of them at once and clean everything out really good. Check my springs out, make sure they're all good. I usually like to put a little bit of grease on there. So the grease actually helps the springs stay in there. So before you put the springs in there, if you don't want them to fall out, just put a little bit of grease right there and that, that will hold the spring inside. Okay, so when you're putting in the way for the pin, you have to hear a little click, okay? So if you don't hear that little click, it's not seated in right. So you kind of have to give it a little bit of pressure until you hear that click, just so you know that that pin and wafer is seated in correctly, okay? So you're able to put in your key and try it out. All right, you guys, so we are almost about done with this ignition lock cylinder. So I do notice that the sidebar is still not retracting with this old key, and that's because the keys are already worn out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cut the key by code or by bidding. Okay, usually you will find the key code on the ignition lock cylinder. But in this case, there is no key code for the for the key. So we're gonna go ahead and calculate the bidding. All right, since we have the bidding already, we can go by cut by bidding or find bidding. 
we're going to select our key B107. It's telling us to place it, okay, by the last little line. Now, if you guys have your key code, you can go to all keys lost and enter your key code from there. So make sure that your key is nice and flat, okay, and it's even or else it's going to cut it wrong. And it's going to cut it all bad, so make sure that it's nice and flat and even so that we're able to proceed to the next step. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and enter our cuts that we have for position 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, 7, 8. And remember, we're missing position 1, 9, and 10, okay? So we're going to skip the first one. We're going to go to position 2. We're going to type in 2, 4, 4, 3, 3, 4, 4, 2. Okay, like I said, we're missing position 1, 9, and 10. And we're going to go to find bidding. And that's going to help us find, okay, the three cuts that we're missing. So make sure you're connected to your machine. Okay, turn on your Bluetooth. If it's not connected, it's going to send you to the screen. Okay, so let's go back. Find bidding. Let's select Chevrolet. Okay, so we're selecting Chevrolet. We're waiting. And that's the only option it gives us. So we're going to go ahead and cut that key. Okay, from the looks of it, that's the correct key okay if you also want to figure out the cuts for the door you want to leash it. the door has position four through ten okay it's missing one two and three so when you're leashing the door remember those details so we're going to go ahead and cut our key it's nice and flat even let's go ahead and get into the action all right you guys so here we have both of our keys so we have our new key Okay, you guys can see the difference between the old and the new key. All right, you guys can see how weird out the old key is. So we're going to go ahead and try it out. We're going to see how far that, that sidebar retracts. You guys can see on the old key, it kind of sticks up. Okay, on the right-hand side, and it doesn't flush correctly. So let's go ahead and try out our new key. And you guys are going to notice a difference. You guys are able to tell me the difference. And this is the new key, okay? So you guys can see, as soon as you put the key in, it automatically, it's flush, okay? The whole sidebar is down evenly. Okay. All right, so you guys can see it's fully retracted now, the sidebar. So that means that it's working. We can install it back. You can go ahead and cut a new transponder key and program that one, okay? Using the new me mechanical key with the existing transponder key. All right, so let's go ahead and put the mechanical key inside the ignition lock cylinder really easy just go ahead and slip it in there as soon as it goes in there go ahead and move it back close it okay and now the ignition lock cylinder is installed so like i said um we can go ahead and program the new transponder key by getting our me our mechanical key inserting it okay and we're gonna go ahead and get our old program key that doesn't work go ahead and place it next to your mechanical key and switch the ignition on Open the switch until that mobilizer light turns off. Okay, and then go ahead and enter the new key. So go ahead and do this until the, the IMMO light actually turns off. Okay, so not unless it turns off, it won't program. So find that sweet spot where the chip is at, the transponder chip. Okay, until it turns off. So you can see it finally turned off. Now I'm going to go ahead and quickly take that key out and put in the new key and wait until the IMMO light turns off again and that key is successfully programmed. Okay, you guys? Well, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys hit like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to join our members only. Till next time.